Welcome to RBO. Today you guys are going to be going over the Jack Link Survival Kit. We always have a basic teriyaki pack of beef jerky. Turn into a little kit. Pretty compact. Nice and sealed, of course. And the plastic's really nice and thick, so punctures aren't that much of a worry. Right on top, we have two packets of mustard. Just as a little boost. For cutting, we have our basic pocket knife. A little bit of serrated blade down here. Got a seatbelt slicer and a glass smasher right there. Nice little knife. Remember when I first got it, it was having issues locking in. Now it's completely fine. We also have a little pocket fishing kit. It has your line, some sinkers, hooks, and of course your leads. <clears throat> For fire starting, we have our BIC, purple BIC here. Take your duct tape, rip it off, light it, makes the fuel last longer. We also have our ferro rod. This is the Koga Hand Ferro Rod. We have the Light My Fire Striker, just because I love the striker and the way it feels. Probably one of the best strikers I've ever used so far. For cover, we have our clear green poncho here. Great for, obviously, uh, keeping you dry. Also for shelter making, water collection, stuff like that. Even water purification, you can make a little solar still with this. We also have a Mylar emergency blanket wrapped up like a burrito. Great at reflecting your body heat at you, using it for signaling, marking trails, and of course shelter making, collecting water. Another source of fire starting, we have some UCL stormproof matches. These are really great for starting fires in damp environments. As a way of signaling, we just have our 12 survivors signal mirror. It's a little scuffed up, but it still does the job really important to have something that you can signal with distance either with visual or with sound like with the acme tornado whistle great little thing it's got a keychain on there nothing works proper for water we have our collection bag right here it's a basic ziploc with a trash tie around it and we have our purification tablets and a little ust capsule thing for gear repair, first aid, fire starting, we have our duct tape, good thick roll of it too. You can do a lot of things with that. We also have a water activated towelette from USD. This is a very large one, so you can go ahead and clean off your body or soak out the blood of a wound or anything like that. It's really useful. We also have some snare wire here. It's gonna be for uh, gear repair, tool making, weapon making, shelter making, anything like that. We also have two winter mint, winter gum mint. Another way of repairing a first aid. We have our pocket sewing kit. Of course, it has a needle, five threads, two safety pins, two buttons. For fire starting, we have some cotton balls wrapped up some trash ties. Gives you some good old dry tinder. You could go ahead and add a Vaseline to that just to better it. We also have our navigation, which is our little button compass here. It works. And that is the kit, guys. So let me know what you guys think. Um, at the end of next week mid next week i don't know really when i'm leaving but i'm gonna go on a trip i'm gonna try to get some uh videos recorded prior so we can have uploads but if i don't i do apologize for that guys but i'll be going on a pretty cool trip and be getting a few videos done on that so i hope you guys look forward to that thank you guys for watching the video thank you guys for supporting the channel have an amazing day